Hi everyone. Uh, this video is going to show you um, how I um, how you might create good or half decent graphics in Keynote, even if you can't draw. Uh, my name is Richard Wells. I've recently published a book called A Learner's Paradise, and I did an ad where I uh, wanted to talk about um, how the world is changing. And um, after people seeing uh, have seen my ad, they've I've had a few questions about how I made it and, and what I used, and, and like most of my things, I used Keynote. So, um, so when it comes to drawing my graphics, um, I, I do a lot of cheating, and I thought I'd take you through some of that cheating. Um, so in this slide here, um, I had a Google car. I wanted that kind of Google self-drive car just to highlight how the, the world's changing. And so this slide sort of comes up with a, a butt and, a, and the car drags on the world changing fast and disappears. Now, of course, that required me to have a Google car graphic. Um, there's not a lot of those around, um, and of course you might have to pay for a kind of copyright things and copyright issues. So I'll just sh take you through how I drew my um, Google car. Um, so I'll create a new slide. And what you do is the, I always start with a Google search, and I did an image search for this lovely graphic. Now of course somebody owns this graphic, so without having to worry about using this, this also didn't fit the style of my ad, so I couldn't just throw this image in. Um, so I, what I do is I borrow this image and put it onto the slide and then on under format um, on any on any object in Keynote you've got opacity that's a transparency so I can cut that down to about half way that just means it's fainter so I can see what I'm doing on top of it and then all I have to do now is get my favorite tool which is draw drawing your own shape with a pen Okay, and let's get rid of the message there. Okay, and then what I'm doing here is basically selecting, zooming in a bit, and just selecting the beginning and the end of any particular curve. So I can see a curve will start here, it goes round here, and ends about um, somewhere around here, I guess. And the next curve goes around like this, and sort of basically I'll, I'll end it at the top here. Then there's a curve up to, I'll do up to the middle there, and then I'll come down this curve. You can see, you now it's not quite drawing exactly over my Google car, but I'll, I'll show you how that works later on. Start of that curve there, I can use my two fingers to move it across while I'm drawing. Go down this curve to about here, come out slightly there. If it's not doing it very well, sometimes these dots don't, uh, don't like you to draw uh, too close together, so you can zoom in with a shift command greater than, and that's all while you're still drawing. And I can move this here, and I can go zoom out again a little bit, come around to the end of that curve, come around to the end of that curve, go right around this curve, okay, um, here, and right around that curve, back to there. Okay, I press enter just to finish that shape off. And you're probably thinking, well, I haven't done a very good drawing so far. So <laughs> you double-click this line, and now Keynote, the latest versions, that give you these midway curve points. So I can now just vary without having to be able to I can move that. Now once I've moved it, I get another midway curve point. And you can see how quite easily, without being able to draw at all, I can now move these lines one by one out. Okay. I can just, and, and I do this for all my objects. Sometimes it takes more than one shape, but I can now just move this out. Now check this one out, this goes right up here. I might require a little bit of a, a fix on this one, so bring this side in a bit. You can just move these as much as you want. I'm just going to slightly curve that one, and then move this. And I've virtually finished my car already. Okay, around there. Okay. I'm going to press enter because I've sort of finished. Just a little last little tweak there. Okay. And then I'm going to make that nice and thick as a line here. Okay, and I'm going to make it orange like I did before. Okay, and you can just carry on all the um, all the inner bits. I'm just going to do this down to this bottom curve here, around to here. You're basically drawing a square and then worrying about the curves afterwards. Okay, I press enter on that and I can double click and I can curve that out. So you can see pretty quickly. Um, one of my favorite little keystrokes is to say on this one. I do Option Command C for the copy the style and I click on this one and I do. Option Command V for paste the style. And now that's pasted. That's not quite. I'll just slightly curve that in. Okay. 
and so on and so on. So by the time you've finished, you're, um, once you've done all the shapes, you can see it doesn't take very long. And after five minutes, um, I would have all, um, all these shapes done. And that's a little secret as to how you can create, create your own graphics um, by tracing over photos and other people's graphics. Um, and when you delete the thing, now what I'm actually, before I delete the photo, I'll just throw in a circle again, Option, Command, V, Paste, so that the same style, move it to about the edge of the circle, and then Shift, drag the corner, so it keeps it as a nice circle. And I can move that there, and then I can Option, drag that one across, so it auto doubles, it's a, a drag copy. And then I can Option, drag it again, slightly shrink it for the inner bit, put it in here and option drag that smaller one over here and you get the yellow lines to tell you when it's in the middle. I then click on the photo, delete it and I have a graphic. Okay, I just chucked a little funky uh, G on the end. Um, I looked up the font for a thing, I think they use a version of Futura, so I grabbed the Futura font for the G, made it a little bit bigger, and made it the same orange. And there's my little Google car. That will do for now. So you can see there by tracing over photos and other people's graphics you get a pretty good graphic of your own which of course is copyright all to you. Thanks guys.